my name is Michelle Chua, and I'm going to take you through a series of poses to warm you up, open you up, and strengthen you for sugarcane pose, also known as Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Let's get started in mountain pose. Step to the top of your mat, connect to your breath, and let's take it through a vinyasa flow to warm up. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, forward, fold down. Inhale, look forward. Rising halfway up, lift the chest. Plant your hands, step the left foot back first, and take it into plank pose. Firm the belly in as you glide forward. Exhale, lower halfway to Chaturanga Dandasana. Press your heart forward, take a deep breath into upward facing dog. Soften the shoulders down. Exhale, lift your hips, press your thighs back into downward facing dog. Let's warm up the core, inhale, straighten your right leg back. Exhale, bend the right knee towards your nose, lifting the belly. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Exhale, tap your right knee to your outer right upper arm in plank. Inhale, sweep the leg back. Exhale, twist, tap your outer left upper arm. Inhale, lift your right leg and gently step it forward between your hands. Walk it out just to the center. Lower your back heel. Windmill the arms apart. Make sure your front heel is aligned to the arch of your back foot. As you stand in warrior two, take a deep breath. Draw the belly in. Lift the chest. Soften the shoulders down. Take your left hand to your back leg. Flip the right palm up. Inhale, sweep that right arm up and overhead. Lean back into Revolving Warrior. Let's take it through a vinyasa flow. Inhale, lift through Warrior Two. Lower the right hand to the floor. Reach the left arm up and towards the front of your mat. Extended side angle. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Revolving Warrior. Keep the front knee bent. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. Side angle pose. Feel that stretch along your left side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep it back again. Keeping the legs firm, use your side muscles of your core center to bring you up, forward, side angle. Inhale, back to warrior two. Then windmill your hands to either side of your front foot. Reach the right leg back as you come back to plank and lower through vinyasa. Chaturanga, lift the heart, take a deep breath, upward facing dog. Then tuck your toes again, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Now let's take the other side. Inhale, stretch your left leg back, keep the hips square, flex that left foot. Exhale, bend the knee towards your nose, come forward and plank. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, tap your knee to your outer left upper arm, lifting it up high. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, twist to your outer right upper arm. From the belly in, inhale, reach that leg back and lightly step it forward. Line up your front heel to the arch of your back foot, windmill your arms apart into warrior two on the second side. So as you bend that front knee, make sure it stacks right above the heel of your left foot. Press that right thigh back and firm. Let's take it through vinyasa flow. Reach your right hand to your back leg. Flip the left palm to face up. Take a deep breath, reach overhead, and exhale, lean back into revolving warrior. Keep those shoulders softened away from your ears. Firming the legs, take a deep breath, and rise back through warrior two, reach forward, release the left hand either onto the ground or you can press the left forearm onto your front thigh. Reach that right arm overhead and inhale, rise back to warrior two. Lean back, revolving warrior as you exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, forward back to extended side angle pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach back. Keep bending that front knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Hmm. Just staying connected to your breath. Inhale, back through warrior two. 
exhale. Windmill your hands to the ground and step back to plank, lifting the left leg as you lower through vinyasa. Into chaturanga. Inhale, press your heart forward. Upward facing dog. Keep that lower back long. Exhale, lift your hips. Press your thighs back into downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel your tailbone lift as you press the tops of your thighs back. And then bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump lightly to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Hmm. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Sweep the arms overhead. Maybe add a little back bend if you like. And exhale, back to mountain pose. Let's step the feet apart. A little wider than your hips. Turn the feet out, bend your knees into a squat, malasana. Then reach your right fingertips to the floor, inside of the right leg, stretching the left arm up. You can stay here, just gazing past the left hand. Or you can wrap that left arm behind you, right arm around your right shin, and clasp the fingers for a bind. Take a few breaths as we open up the hips and inner thighs and just open up the chest a little more. Relax the shoulders down. Hmm. And let's take it to the other side. Come back through center first. Get centered once again. Tune into your breath. And then when you're ready, left hand down, right arm up. As you turn your gaze towards that right hand, open up the chest a little more. Now if you need to take it further to feel the stretch, take it into a bind on this side too. Roll the shoulders down. Make sure you're still softening the muscles on your face. Right between the eyebrows. And let's release the bind. Feel toe your feet parallel, hip distance apart, and come back to a forward fold. And took those peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, shift the weight forward, rise halfway up. And exhale, forward fold. Lift the shoulders away from your ears and just let the head release. Again, inhale, reach the heart forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold in a little deeper. Nice stretch for your entire back body. Inhale, heart lifts, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Hmm. And release the hands. Heel toe your feet together and bend your knees. Sit low in chair pose. Lengthen the tailbone just slightly behind you on the ground. Draw the belly in. Soften the shoulders down, lift the heart up. And bring your hands to your heart as you exhale, twist to the right. You might hook the left elbow outside your right thigh, but draw the left hip back. Try to keep the knees even. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Just getting a little flow here as you warm up the core muscles, the leg muscles, especially the quads. Let's lower through center all the way down into boat pose. Take your hands behind your thighs to start as you lengthen the spine. You might even straighten the legs if you feel comfortable up here. Flex the feet too. Bring the hands together. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, center, draw the belly in. Exhale, lower halfway down. Take a deep breath, lift back up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to your left. Inhale, center. Lower halfway down, keep flexing the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, second side. Inhale up. Hold it. 
Lean forward and step the feet on the ground into a forward fold. Plant the hands down, step or jump back and lower to another vinyasa flow. Into upward facing dog, lifting your heart, broaden the chest, tuck your toes and lift your hips back to downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. And when you're ready, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, sweep the palms together. Exhale, seal the mat in your heart center. Mountain pose. Let's step that right foot far behind you. Parallel your feet towards the right side of your mat for a moment. Spread the arms, stack the heels under your wrists, and then moving from the hips, spin both legs to face the front of your mat, lining up your left heel to the arch of your right foot. Spread the arms, stand tall, lengthen your spine. And start to glide the hips back as you reach the left arm forward. Lower that left hand either onto the ground outside your leg or onto your shin. Reach the right arm up and try to stack your shoulders here in one line, triangle pose. As you breathe in, think of elongating your tailbone towards that right heel, stretching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat, spreading wide across your arms, opening the chest. As you breathe out, draw the belly in. See if you can gently spin the navel towards the sky a little bit more and deepen the stretch in your lower back. Hmm, bend the front knee. Inhale, rise back to warrior two. Stacking the front knee over the heel. Reach the left arm forward. Lower the left fingertips to the floor. It might be inside or outside your front leg. And extend that top arm up and overhead for extended side angle pose. We're going to take it into a bind from here. Wrap that right arm behind your back. Left arm around the left thigh behind you. Clasp the fingers and gaze up. Soften your shoulders away from your ears and feel your tailbone lengthen towards your right heel. Take a few more breaths here. Then looking towards the ground, lift back to warrior two. And take the left fingertips forward, just slightly outside of your left foot. As you lift the back leg, coming into half moon pose, flex that right foot vigorously. Like you're stretching the left sit bone towards your right heel. And open the arms apart when you're ready, finding your balance. Put a little bend in that left knee if you tend to lock it. You want to press into the earth with that standing foot to lift the energy up, spread across the arms. Soften the shoulders back. And once you have your balance, you're going to take it a step further into sugar cane pose. So bend the right knee towards your chest to grab the top of the right foot. Try to keep the right knee pointing low, not turning it up towards the sky as you arch the upper back. Keep your lower back nice and long. Kind of stretching that leg behind you like a bow and arrow. You might take your gaze over your left shoulder or maybe up towards the sky if you feel pretty risky here and you want to test your balance a bit. Take a few breaths. Hmm. And when you're ready, release the leg. Slowly passing through half moon pose. Bend the left knee and softly step back to warrior two. Great job. Back to the breath. Inhale. Come back to revolving warrior. Sweep that left arm up and back. Exhale, windmill your hands to the floor. Let's take it through vinyasa. Clear it out. Left leg lifts as you lower through plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale, heart forward. Upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. And bend your knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath, inhale, rise halfway, exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise all the way up, sweeping the arms overhead, lift your heart, and bring your hands back to prayer. Let's step the left foot back. We'll take everything on the second side. So start with the feet parallel, spread the arms, get the heels right under your wrists, and spin the legs to face the front of your mat. Line up your right heel to the arch of your left foot, spreading the arms, glide the hips back as you reach your right arm forward, and lower your right fingertips either onto the floor outside your right leg or onto your right shin. Reaching your left arm up, gaze towards your left thumb. Take a few deep breaths in triangle pose. Try to lengthen your right side body by stretching the right sit bone towards your left heel. And let's lift back through warrior two, bending the right knee over your right heel. Reach your right arm forward and down into side angle pose. So we're gonna prepare for a bind here to open the chest a little more deeply. Start by extending the left arm up and overhead, just getting a more side body stretch. And then swing that left arm behind you, wrap the right arm underneath your right thigh, and clasp your fingers behind. Roll the left shoulder back as you gaze towards the sky and soften both shoulders away from your ears. Keep finding length through the tailbone, stretching towards your left heel. Keeping your breath as full as possible. Mm, rise up back to warrior two and take the right fingertips to the outside of your right foot, just about six inches forward as you shift your weight forward. Lifting the back foot, flex it into half moon pose. So keep that left leg straight. When you're ready, spread the left arm all the way up, stacking the shoulders just as you do in triangle pose. So actually find the alignments in triangle pose here in half moon. A few breaths. And bending the left knee, grab the top of your left foot. Roll that left shoulder back as you open the chest keeping your left knee pointing just behind you rather than lifting it up towards the sky. You want to protect the length in your lower back. Sugar cane pose. Just feel that beautiful stretch along your left quadricep into your left hip flexor and across your chest into this back bend. When you're ready to release, Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Extend that left leg back into half moon. Slowly bend your right knee and softly step back through warrior two. Reach the left hand to your back leg. Flip the right palm up. Inhale, reach up and back, revolving warrior, just stretching out the right side body. Windmill your hands to the floor and take a vinyasa at this time, lifting the right leg up as you lower through plank into chaturanga. Inhale, reach the heart forward, upward facing dog. Mm, exhale, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Mm, beautiful job today. Let's bend your knees, step or lightly jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, look forward and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Feel toe your feet hip width apart, parallel. Bend your knees, round your back. Inhale, slowly roll up. Stacking one vertebra at a time. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Mm, exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Namaste.